this this question is a linear programming question that that is a little bit difficult because there are three different inequalities and these two put us in the first quadrant it says find the maximum and minimum value of this objective function subject to those constraints let's go ahead and solve it for the first equation i'm going to make it orange now i'm going to find the intercepts it says x equals 54 that would be the x intercept the y intercept i got to divide by 2 so 2y equals to 54 what does that give us y equals to 27 okay now let's go to the second equation we'll make it blue so we have x equals to alexa stop 28 and y equals to 28 that's the easy one for our last equation we can make it green we have 4x equals to 84 that gives us x equals to 21 negative 3y equals to 84 I forgot this gives us a negative value so that will be a little bit tricky you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna find a different second point I like this I like this intercept but this is gonna give me a negative intercept I'm gonna plug in something that will make this I want to plug in 30 here and you'll see why so I'm actually gonna say let x equal 30 this is this is a little bit different but I mean you could have left that that other y intercept it's just that it's negative um, you know what I'm gonna go ahead and leave it negative and I'll just kind of make an adjustment to my graph I'm gonna say negative 3y equals to you have different ways of doing this I'm gonna get y equals to let's see 84 divided by 3 is negative what's that 21 28 84 divided by 3 negative 28 we'll see what we can do with this negative 28 it's not ideal but we can still work with it what I'm going to do now is graph the feasible region. I have a, let's see, I have a 54 seems to be my biggest X intercept. And Y is my biggest Y intercept. So I'm going to graph this now. Let's pick black. That's my Y, in, my y axis, my X axis. I will kind of want this Y axis to go down a little bit, but let's see. Let's, let's extend this down a little bit for our, for our, for that weird equation that we had with the y intercept of negative 28 I'll have like an intercept down there but let's go one step at a time for orange I gotta go to 54 let's go 10 20 30 40 50 60 and for y we gotta go to 28 so we'll go like 5 10 15 20 25 30 okay we can ex actually extend this down to I remember I have that negative intercept, that negative y intercept. This is like 10, 20, and 30. This would be negative 10, negative 20, and negative 30. Okay, this is 50. All right, let's go ahead and graph this orange guy, this orange line at 54 and 27. 54 is about right there. Before I do this, let me try. Let me do this and make everything black. <clears throat> so 54 is right here what else do we have 27 okay it's about ooh, 27 I'm gonna put it a little bit lower on purpose and you'll see why later but that's 27 let's put a line through these and let's test let's actually label this let's label this line and we'll call it the orange line. It's important, very important to label your lines. You'll see why later. X plus 2Y equals 54. X plus 2Y equals 54. All right, blue line, 28 and 28. Now here's why I pulled that a little bit low because 28 needs to be up here somewhere. That's 28. And then 28 over here, 10, 20, 30, so it'd be somewhere here. All right, let's put a line through these. Kind of a toughie up here. You got this really small triangle. We will label this line, this blue line, as what? X plus Y is greater than or equal to 28. Yep, green line. 
by the way, I forgot to test my inequalities, so I'm going to get a test point of 0, 0, and plug that in here. I get, by the way, I should make this an inequality. It is supposed to be less than or equal to 54. So when I plug in 0, when I plug in 0, 0, I'm basically plugging in 0 here and here. makes all of this go to 0. So I can just replace it with a zero and say that zero is less than or equal to 54. That is true. Zero is less than or equal to 54. So for the orange line, I need to point down. Now what about the blue line? Same idea. I'm gonna pick this test point at the center and I'm gonna compare this in, into this inequality by plugging in 0, 0, here, 0, and here, 0. That just gives me 0. So I'm going to say 0 is greater than or equal to 28, but that is false. Okay, so since that's false, I'm actually not going to shade below the blue line because points below the blue line are false. Points above the blue line are true. So I'm actually going to shade up, but this is good news. We're actually going to be up in here. In this triangle here not in this triangle here because I have to be above this blue line so it's not gonna be in that little triangle thankfully it's gonna be in this triangle down here okay moving on to the green line <clears throat> we have X equals 21 so 21 is about right there and we have Y equals what was Y negative 28 okay negative 28 right there so I'm just gonna put a line through that see what happens okay and I'll just say that this green line is what it's 4x minus 3y is less than or equal to 84 if I plug in 0 0 which is the test point right in the center right here if I use that test point of 0 0 again I'm going to get 0, because remember, we're plugging in 0 to both of these. What does that become? 0. It just becomes 0. So you get 0 is less than or equal to 84. That's true. 0 is less than or equal to 84. So I'm going to be shading to the left. To the left. Remember, we're in the first quadrant because of these two inequalities. I don't usually need to graph down here. I just graphed down here because I wanted this point. <clears throat> so let's see, where are we? We need to be to the left of the green line. We need to be below the orange line and above the blue line. That leaves us in the triangle in the center right in here. That's our feasible region. Okay, so we call that a feasible region. And I'm going to use this color for a feasible region. Pink feasible region. And I will label well so here's what's going on we got the feasible region what's going on is that we let's take a little break here slow down this is the objective function we're trying to find the maximum and minimum values of this objective function subject to these constraints well this is the constraint this is our the feasible region basically graphs the constraints okay now the big theorem here is that the maximum and minimum will occur at the corners, okay? The maximum and minimum will occur at the corners as long as the feasible region is bounded. In this case it is. So if it was going up, if the feasible region was up here, then we would just say that there's only a minimum because this thing goes to infinity, there's no maximum. But since it's bounded in, in here, in this little triangle here, we know that the objective function has a maximum and minimum. I'm going to label these A, B, and C. And I'm, we have to solve the system of equations. We do have colors, and we did label them. So that's going to help us a lot. For instance, on A, it's green and blue. So we need, we need to solve that. So green and blue, green and blue. So we got blue. Let's, so let's, let's do A. So A green and blue green and blue so what are they so they're x plus c x plus y equals 28 and what is green it's 
four x minus three y. Let's see. Let's just copy it. Come down here, paste. We can maybe change the color, get rid of a few things, make this an equal sign. All right, okie dokie. What I'm gonna do is just multiply this top equation by something nice, like maybe three. So if I do that, I get three X plus three Y equals 260 and 24, it's 84. If I add these together, these cancel out. That's why I chose three. Oh, so why did I say 12? Seven X equals to 168. That means X equals to 168 divided by 7. I did that before, it's 24. So we get 24. X equals 24. That means that what is Y? Well, X plus Y have to add to 28. That means Y is 4. Okay? So we got X is 24, Y equals 4. Boom, that's our first corner. Moving on to our second corner, B. It's orange and green. Orange and green. So we already used green. What about orange? Where's orange? We got it up here. Okay, it's right here. Let's see, copy for part B, orange and green. So if we paste that in, change this to an equal sign and get the other one. What was the other one? That's, so green was this one, 4X minus 3Y. We had that somewhere. We had it right here. Copy, paste. Clean this up a little bit. Okay, let's solve it. On this one, let's solve, let's multiply. I don't know, what can we do? Any good ideas? Maybe we'll use substitution. We'll try something different. X equals to 54 minus 2Y. Substitute that in. 4 times 54 minus 2Y minus 3Y equals to 84. We get a 108 minus 8Y minus 3Y equals to 84. And we get, if we subtract 108, what is that? 16 plus 8, is that 24? So you get negative, wait, it's not 108. This is 216, 216. So now 216 minus 84, or 84 minus 216, to be more correct, negative 132. Negative 11y equals negative 132. If I divide by 11, I get 12, right? Yeah, 132, okay. So we get y equals 12. All right, I'm gonna make this smaller. That's our first intersection, intersecting point. This is our second intersecting point, which I'm not quite done with, but see if I could squeeze it in. Making room, making room. So we get y equals 12. What is x? That, would, that means x equals to 54 minus two times 12, 24, 24, 30, 40, 50. Yeah, that's 30, okay. So we have one corner, second corner, moving on to our third corner, which is C, and that's orange and blue, orange and blue. So X plus 2Y, where is that? We have that one there, and then blue is where? Okay, so it looks like we have this one for our last corner, orange and blue. So X plus Y equals 28, and so that's the blue one x plus y equals 28 and this one the orange one is x plus 2y equals 54 which i had somewhere right here x plus 2y equals 54 copy paste okay for this one we could subtract the top equation from the bottom so x minus x is 0 2y minus y is just y and then 54 minus 28, what's that, 38, 48, that's like 26. That seems to be 26. So that means that Y has to be what, two? In order to add to 28, does X plus Y have to add to 28? So 26 plus what is 28? We got that, so this is actually X, because I already had Y. So then I have two comma 26. So that's my last corner. So I got my three corners right there. Okay, now we take a deep breath, figure out what we are doing. We are trying to find the maximum and minimum values of this objective function, subject to the constraints. 
we know that they occur at one of these corners. So let's plug them in to z equals 6x plus 4y. So down here we have z equals 6x plus 4y. So we have one corner, 226. Let's plug that in. So 6 times 2 plus 4 times 26. So we can find that. Let's see what we get. So 12 plus 4 times 26, that's 116. All right, we got 116. Then we have uh, 6 times 30. Let's see if this is one of our corners. It's right. 30 comma 12. Yeah, 30 comma 12. This one, this is another one of our corners. 30 comma 12. So let's see. Plus 4 times 12. What do we get on this one? It's 180 plus 48. 228. So 228. Last corner. 6 times 24 plus 4 times 4. What's that equal to? 6 times 24 plus 16. That's 160. Okay, looks like we got a max right here and we have a min right here. A max and min. So the max occurs at this point and the min occurs at that point. All right, let's see if we're right. So for the minimum, it's 116 at 226. The minimum is 116 at 226. The maximum is 228 at 3012. Let's see if we're right. 228 at 3012. We're right. So we've done it. That's a complete linear programming question. Kind of tough, but we got it. Hope that helps.